20 plus win teams. Look at that student section from the second they turned the lights out. Pre-tip, this place has been rocking as good of a college basketball atmosphere as you will find. And if you if you like your basketball fast and in transition, this is a game for you. Both teams are going to run. I expect the winner to be over 75 points. You just saw Drew Swirline. The senior is going to make the start on senior night. Christian Wilson as well is going to get the start. 51 and 53 is a foul called here, and that's going to go against Swirline. Yeah, offensively, Davidson runs a beautiful motion game, exceptional guards, versatile bigs. 76 points per game. That's second in the A-10 this year. How does Davidson want to attack you offensively? Well, they, they spread the court, and they have five different guys that are scoring options. I think it's a huge defensive dilemma for Dayton because who do you focus on? Because they're all really good offensive players. You saw Yasun Lee. Now down inside, a foul's called on Kamara. The crowd does not love it. What'd you see? Well, I, I think that, that when you look at Kamara, he's got that bulky knee brace. He missed the LaSalle game. And if you want to know how valuable he is, they went into a game in which they should have dominated and lost because he has such a big impact. He's a double-double guy for the Flyers. He's going to put Sam Meninga on the line, 58% free throw shooter. Yep. Been playing well lately, nine points on Wednesday night against George Mason. Had some really strong post moves in that game as well. You know, if Menenga is your number four option offensively, you know that you're really strong in that area. Now, offensively, I really like Dayton. Here's why. They can play fast or slow, inside or out, and I love their pick and roll screen game action. It's a young team, a whole bunch of freshmen, red shirt freshmen as you look around this roster. Here's Kamara, inside, spin move, drew some contact. It'll stay right here. And how big is that call? That's a 50-50 call because if Kamara gets a charge there, then all of a sudden he's got two fouls and he may sit the rest of the first half and into the game comes Foster Lawyer. He's had issues with an ankle sprain, and they need him desperately. One of the best leaders in this conference. They got Grant Huffman with the foul, who Coach said has been just sensational here recently. He was coming off the bench. Now he's earned more of that starting rotation. Yeah, look at the spacing. There's nobody in the paint for Dayton. That was Kobe Elvis. Let's one fly. see Foster Lawyer coming back into the lineup. I know you were catching up with him a bit before the game, and Lawyer's going to let a jumper go. Yeah, Foster Lawyer from my hometown of Clarkston, Michigan. Uh -huh. Michigan played for Tom Izzo, and the fact that Michigan State is struggling this year, and Tom Izzo has complained about a lack of leadership. His best leader from last year is playing for Davidson, and it's him right there, Foster Lawyer. Mm -hmm. Got Kamara for steps. Yeah, I would love to see Davidson go inside. Remember, if Kamara gets that second foul, your job gets a lot easier. Always got to respect that three ball of Foster Lawyer, seventh nationally and three-point field goal percentage. And there is Lee, and Lee had it tipped away. Dayton's going to want to run with it. Malachi Smith with the ball at the point. Freshman from the Bronx. Has been a star immediately. Now a foul down inside. We're going to get Luka Brekovich with his first. I don't think that there's any big man in college basketball that is a 94-foot sprinter better than Jerron Holmes. And you're going to notice it throughout the game. As soon as the possession changes, he sprints end-to-end -end incredibly fast. See Bochi Yeadham. Getting his first minutes as Brekovich picks up an early foul.
Here's Kamara. Has some amazing moves down there in the post. This time he's too strong. Yeah, really no deception either way. These are two teams built for speed. They're going to really push in transit. Good pass in. Take it back outside to Lee. Talent kicks it back. Now Elvis thought about one down inside to Holmes and to Holmes gets it to go. You know, offensively, a, a real strength is shooting the ball. Davidson, number one in field goal percentage, top ten in the nation in threes. As a team, 76% from the line. When you've missed as much time as Lawyer has, how do you want to settle yourself down, especially early in these games? Well, he's not forcing anything, and I believe that he's going to be happy to play great defense and get his team involved. Remember, as the point guard, he's got the ball in his hands all game. He'll make his impact offensively as we get along. See RJ Blakeney over in the left corner. He had that huge slam dunk <laughs> to finish big, off the game this big week. Big man the on game campus, winner. right? Yeah. He had a big slam earlier where they threw it up to him. And then he came back for the game winner where everybody was going towards Kamara. Now Holmes going in strong, and Holmes will go to the line for a couple. It's a two-point ball game, up and down the court. And he would be the hardest worker, and that's the reason he's a captain. So this is Deron Holmes at the line. Freshman, 6'10", 220 pounds out of Arizona. And man, he's fast. Mm. You know, Highest ranked recruit to ever sign with the Flyers. You know, with the um, NFL Combine going, I think he'd do pretty well in the 40. <laughs> yeah, I think he would. How'd you like to see that target going across the middle as a wide receiver? Meet him on my bangles. <laughs> Here's Lee for three. Left it a little short and a foul called on the board. Yeah, Lee is just such a beautiful shooter. And that's a play set up out of the timeout, being able to get him a shot defensively. I really like the start that we've seen from Kobe Brea. He's not going to leave Lee, I can promise you that. Foul called on Elvis on the floor. Michael Jones kicking across. And that's short. The Flyers are going to try to run. There's Malachi Smith. If both of these teams really excel in the middle screen game. Once again, keep an eye on the middle, how open it is for drives. Elvis working the baseline. Elvis. Tie ball game for a piece as we hit the 15-minute mark. And Lawyer from three. Down. Brea thought about it, puts it on the ground, pull up jumper, and he hits it. Now, why wouldn't this offense be great? They've got two guys named Kobe that can fill it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. There's Yunsoon Lee. The face of Korean basketball is what coach said. And there, there are several Korean media members here. They follow him everywhere he goes. Here's Sam Menenga, and a little strong rebound for Deron Holmes. There's Smith, works it over to Elvis, and Holmes got fouled down in the post. Put that one on Meninga. 13,407, and Jack, I played here December 22nd of 1980. Uh -huh. I remember I was a freshman and it was right before Christmas and there were 13,407 then 
They played the same defense. This is the culture they've set up. Mm -hmm. This is what they do, and that's the reason they get to play in games every year. That student section line was about to touch the football field when I walked into the parking lot this morning. Here's Amseal from three. Here's Lawyer setting one down inside. Brankovich, easy finish. If I was looking at the number one skill that Davidson has, it's their passing ability. This is a team all five can create, but they can also get their team involved. There's some patient offense. Now Amsteel wants a three. Missed the first one, back for the second, and it's right on target. Got to be careful with Brekovic. He can step out and hit it from right there. Now down inside, Lee, pull up, pure. Ooh, get him the ball inside. If Holmes can get it, he needs it. One of the conversations we were having with Coach about Brekovic is, is it better to come out and try to defend him at the three-point line? Is it better to try to defend him in the post? What's the best strategy with everything he's able to do? He's a matchup nightmare, and the key thing to remember is that he can hurt you in both ways. He shoots almost 60% from the field, and he's also a great passer. There's Malachi Smith up top. Missed his entire senior year of high school. So with all the time off, it's been pretty amazing. Then he got hurt coming into his freshman season. So I just missed so much basketball. And the way that he has come onto the college floor and performed has blown everybody away. Now Bochi Yidam. Brekovic in the post against Holmes. This is the matchup we've been waiting for. And Brekovic, smooth touch with the right hand. That's that old veteran slow move that you'll see at the YMCA. Oh, yeah. Just taking his time. No double coming. And it shouldn't because Holmes is a great shot blocker. Isn't that amazing? He's already top 10 all time, and he hasn't even finished his freshman year. And they get Brekovic with a foul coming over there on Malachi Smith. Brekovic, he's smooth down there in the post. He can shoot it from deep. We thought Holmes would be a tough matchup. Not so far. And he will take an early seat. Malachi Smith is one of my favorite players in the A-10. The baby brother of Scoochie Smith. And Anthony Grant, when he recruited him, said, Malachi, you are not a legacy recruit. I'm not recruiting you because your brother was a four-year starter and led this program to the NCAA. I am recruiting you because of the value I have in somebody like you. And and what a luxury item as a coach. I mean, you, you get Jalen Crutcher for four straight years, and the, the minute that Malachi stepped on campus, he became a starter for this team. Mm -hmm. Coach Grant was telling us it was amazing to watch him get up to speed in just a week or two weeks' time after missing all of that basketball with the injury and then the senior year like we just told you about. Yep. First guy on the court today working on his shot. Here's Lawyer from three, and Lawyer back from injury and looking smooth. Down inside looking for Amseal. And they're going to get Amseal for a foul there on Grant Huffman. Huffman played in all 22 games, coming off the bench as a freshman. He's been mixed in as a bench player and earned those starting reps. Been playing well as a scorer recently as well. Now Lawyer, same spot on the court, this time wide right. Elvis down inside, kicks it to the other Kobe. That's Brea, and Brea's long. Amsteel just waited on that rebound patiently. Go right back to Brea for another three, and this time Brea puts it down. 
And the beauty of that basket, it allows Dayton to set up their defense. Things change greatly when Brejkovic goes out of the lineup. They run a lot of their offense through him. Foster Lawyer almost threw it away, and now it is a turnover. So yep. Dayton's starting to put a little run together. Yeah, keep an eye on Brea. When his feet are set, he has one of the best releases of any big wing shooter in this league. Foster Lawyer already has nine points. Working his way back. With Brejkovic out, good opportunity to go inside. There's not much shot blocking. Here's Elvis, who left it just short. Now Lawyer, little floater, left it short. Kick it back out for another three, and Jones from deep. Yeah, I, I'm enjoying this coaching battle here. You've got McKillop, who's an offensive genius. Grant, a defensive guru. Amseal inside with the easy two. Jack, you see what I'm saying? There's no shot blocking on the court right now for Davidson. Be wise for Dayton to go inside whenever they can. Here's Huffman. Huffman loves to get into the lane, tries that left hand and can't get it to go. Now Dayton has numbers if they want to push it. Brea thought about the three, goes inside, kicks it back out. Now Elvis is wide open, and Elvis off the mark. Yeah. Dayton is doing a spectacular job of forcing Davidson to drive left. I always believe that if you make a guy go to his weak hand, he's half a step slower, and his field goal percentage will plummet. Trying to work the lane is Lawyer. Meninga gets it on the outside, takes it right back into the post and draws a foul. They're going to get Sissoko, the red shirt freshman, his first. And bad news for Davidson because Kamara and Holmes are back on the court, and that's the best thing that Dayton has going for it. Here's Hoffman. Drop it inside to Holmes, and Holmes swatted away. Blakeney, who we already know can rise from earlier this week. Now Lawyer, pull up. That is a pure stroke from Lawyer, and he gets another one. Now back on defense, Holmes draws a foul. Now I asked Jerron Holmes about his matchup with Brejkovic. And when you think about the, the ability to protect the rim, that's something that Dayton is going to have a chance to really benefit because it acts as an outlet pass. Back to Holmes. He said that he has so much respect after studying Brejkovic. Kind of interesting that this is the last day of the regular season. These teams have not played each other. But Holmes said he did a lot of studying on film. And he said that if he's going to be able to match up with the maturity and the experience of Brejkovic, He's got to bring better enthusiasm. We'll get Bochi Yedem with that foul. Now Malachi Smith. Going to pick Lawyer up full court. And at least make him think about it on the way up. But look at the defense on the weak side by Blakeney against Lee. He is all over him. There's no airspace at all. Now Lee kicks it over to Jones. And Jones, who made a shot earlier. Sends this one a little long. Rebound to Brea. Now Malachi Smith, who can get to the lane. Malachi Smith gets it. Gets the ball right back to Kamara. Blakeney inside with the pull-up. And won't go rebound Jones. Yeah, I think this is a set in which Foster Lawyer tries to get Lee a shot. He's their best shooter, or he shoots it himself. <laughs> right now, Lawyer's just getting lawyer shots. <laughs> 
Malachi Smith running the court over to Blakeney. It has been a good week to be Blakeney. Three ball goes. Now you hear the crowd. RJ Blakeney, the red shirt freshman from Baltimore, Maryland, as Lee tries to work his way to the other side and gets it with the left hand. Left hand against a shop. Camara. Now. The charge there. Blakeney, we saw him rise twice earlier this week, once for the game winner. How much different is Davidson without Luka Brekovic on the court to well, play against? Well, I, I, I know this, that he scores, he rebounds, he defends, he's efficient. I mean, there's not much else, right? Like, he does all, all the things it. that teams need. And right now, he's their best interior defender. And his absence is going to allow Dayton to get to the rim whenever they want. That foul on Malachi Smith, which is going to bring up a one-and-one one for Grant Huffman. And Huffman's done a really nice job. Remember, with Foster Lawyer out, he took over that point guard spot and really built a lot of confidence in his game. Now Amseal, who's already shown that he'll pull up from three. Amseal this time from the lane. The floater goes down. Oh, uh, and it sets up the full court pressure. Holmes is great at the point of that press. Now here's Lee. Crowd saw a double dribble there. Hey, the hidden star of this game right now is Blakeney. The job defensively he's doing on Lee. I mean, this guy can defend. Young June Lee into the lane, and he missed another one. Blakeney, a pure athlete. That's what Coach Grant kept saying. He's just a pure athlete. Any jump ball scenario, any play that requires athleticism, even from a defensive perspective, he's the first man that they look at. Why do you think he wears number 23? <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Now Malachi Smith out to Blakeney. Blakeney into the lane, rises. Can't get it to go off the backboard. Now Elvis. Malachi Smith looked at it from three and can't get it to go in the lane either. Now Huffman, back out to Bochi Yeadham, and a foul down on the inside. It'll be a one and one. It's on Duran Holmes. Yeah. Jack, let's reset what this game means. Davidson is in first place. With a win today, they lock up the number one seed later today. VCU travels to St. Louis. If St. Louis can win that game and Dayton can win this one, then the Flyers move up to the number two seed. There's Nelson, Bochi Yeadham. He's gotten some critical moments throughout this year when Meninga is hurt or Brekovic is into foul trouble. Whatever the case may be, he's really been thrust into some critical moments. He's gotten better because of it. At the roster, great story that. 1978 he started doing foreign clinics and found so many good players out there that that he can bring from Ireland and France and Spain and Sweden Blakeney for three he stays hot now Malachi Smith on a quick steal Malachi Smith right back out to Elvis and Elvis just long this crowd was ready to explode little scoreboard watching when Brykovich went out Davidson was up 13 to 9 now they're down Dayton has their first lead this crowd knows it there's Meninga working that post down low double team comes over and double team is effective now hold has it Malachi Smith always thinking attack Holmes rises to the rim
on the inside that's Huffman why is this crowd right back to their seats still a one-point flyer lead Now Elvis to Amsiu, and they gave it away. Now Lee tries a three, and Lee puts it right down the middle. Set play. The Golden State Warriors do that a lot for Steph Curry. We know why Bob McKillop uses that, his close relationship with his former player. Steph comes back every year to spend time with the team. Coach telling us that he has his fingerprints all over the program. Knows about everything going on. A miss from Holmes, rebound to Lee. Set play, thumb series, pass and cut. Once again, look at the spacing. Nobody even close to the paint. Now Lee comes over and gets it. And ball goes right back to the Flyers. So Davidson has regained the lead. It's a two-point ball game. We knew this one was going to... I'm going to make the defense commit, and my teammate is going to be open. That's really advanced thinking for a young player. His dad is one of the best high school coaches in Seoul. His mom's a silver medalist, so so much great basketball history in his family. Yeah, raised in excellence. He's like LeBron, right? Because he's got a, a country that he owns from a basketball perspective. <laughs> yeah. Here's Brea. Brea, finger roll finish. Brea! Ties this ball game at 30. Pretty amazing. The date has nine in their rotation. Every single one of them is a freshman or a sophomore. I'm going to tell you right now, preseason A-10, their number one favorite. Yunju Lee with the fall away. Good defense once again. Now Malachi Smith. Works it over to Elvis, who's being patient, but had a bigger man on him in Meninga. Yeah, I'd love to see Holmes get a post-touch. Remember, no shot blocking in the game for the Wildcats. Deron Holmes on his way into the lane was fouled. Looks like they're going to get Jones. Holmes is quietly impacting this game. Six points, four boards. His length and athleticism is phenomenal. One day he is 10 and 250 pounds. So you better go at him now because at that point he's going to be unstoppable. If I was looking for a word to describe him I would say electrifying and Davidson needs to be careful too because Nelson Bochy Yeadam has three fouls we already told you that Brekovic has two fouls so a couple of their big men are in foul trouble here early a very small lineup for Davidson Here's Lawyer. Meninga lets Lawyer run by him, creates a little space, and gets into the lane for a left-handed finish. Wow. <laughs> that was good, and I'm still enjoying this point guard battle, Jack. Mm -hmm. If Foster Lawyer and Malachi Smith are your point guards, as a coach, you never have to worry. Malachi Smith floats one to Holmes. Holmes again. When I said the word is electrifying, did you believe me? <laughs> I think I just blinked. Lawyer's been aggressive coming back. Uh, I mean, this is what he does. But let's not talk about shot fake threes. Let's talk about the best play of the game. Beautiful delivery. 
You know how you throw a lob to Holmes? Just aim for the upper left-hand part of the backboard. He'll go get it. Listen to this crowd. Did they like that call? What did you think there? What did you see there on that foul on Boyer? Absolutely. He got the defense to jump. And when I watch Foster, his free throws are amazing. He's the best in the nation. As a matter of fact, I, I was um, watching him during the pregame warm-ups. He made 29 in a row, and then he missed. You know why? Because <laughs> somebody's errant shot hit his ball. That's the <laughs> only way you can stop him from making free throws. I don't think we can put that one on his percentage. <laughs> Got that 94% free throw percentage. Looking to see if it was a two or a three. Yeah, I um, they'll, they'll say it was a two. Is that right? Three shots. Three shots. It looked like he was well beyond the line. Yeah. In my conversation with Foster, I, I, I said, you know, you, you carry yourself like a coach on the floor. His dad, NBA assistant coach, was actually the interim Pistons for a while said that he doesn't and he certainly built for it now lawyer with eight seconds remaining in this first half Malachi Smith who else would you want having the basketball right here Malachi gonna try to create some room in a hurry. The reverse layup just left it short and Lee launches one just after the buzzer. If yours, you still get a spot, but the seating is not quite up to par. A well, little higher, if you will. Yun Jun Lee told me that this is the loudest place in the A-10 and he was shaking his head like these people are crazy as loud as they are. And look who's back in the game, Luka. Brekovic and Brekovic is going to draw a foul that could have been dangerous already has two fouls in that first half sat much of the first half but you got to have the feeling that coach McKillop playing without his star how do you think he would feel about the first half we just saw up one well he he likes the way they played and it's not surprising as the first place team that is a lock for the NCAA tournament he knows they've been through a lot of wars and they have the ability to make great decisions. It's kind of crazy to think that with Kellen Grady, their best player, a 2,000 point scorer last year, transferring to Kentucky this year.
Now Lee in the lane, one more. Draws the foul and one. Third big man. And I just, I, I'm so impressed with his skill level. He can play the three and the four. Really good shooter, very smart. He's the first big guy off the bench for Dayton. That's the fourth foul. Bochi Yedem. Maybe go right back at him. Drop it inside. Here's Holmes. Amseal, they will go right back at him. Amseal with the little drifter on the left handed hook. Beautiful off the glass. Now Miller quickly for a three the other way, and he's fouled. So more free throws. Three pack. And, and that is a horrific decision defensively. You cannot shoot threes. And if all of a sudden somebody comes in your face and gets a hands up, that's all you need. Why foul the three-point shooter? I remember two years ago, I was doing a Houston game. Kelvin Sampson, the great head coach, said we do not follow three-point shooters somebody did in shoot around practice he made everybody get on the end line and run suicides how important he thinks it is that you go straight up and down gets that one to go it's a tough place to shoot into directly into the student section right there i see patrick i see spongebob i see loud <laughs> i see spinny wheel they got everything up there i still love the the, the flight attendants and the pilots Remember, these guys are the Flyers. And, Jack, this game just feels like one that's going to come down to a one possession. Who can make a play? Who can get a stop? Sure does. Jones continues to score. Now Blakeney aggressively trying to turn that corner. They're going to call it on the ground. We're going to get Desmond Watson with that foul. One of the true strengths of this Flyer team is their guard play on the wing. Kobe Brea, Kobe Elvis, and R.J. Blakeney are long, athletic, and I almost saw that that last second game winner, that could have been a lob right inside. Now here's Elvis directly into the lane. He has a clear pad that gets it to go. Elvis, the red shirt freshman out of Ontario. Yeah. I'll back the other way. Lawyer for three. Yeah, when Lawyer gets his feet set, Five-point Davidson lead inside. Holmes using his body. Good-looking post move by Holmes after he caught it. Good cut by Lawyer, but nothing there on the inside. It's poked away. Amsteel thought he got it clean, but possession is going to stay with the Wildcats. And Coach McKillop can't believe it. Well, this is a key time for Dayton. Remember, Davidson has Lee and Brykovich on the bench right now. This is a great time to make a run. Coach Grant has this team playing so tough defensively. A three is going to fly. It's way off the mark. Holmes was down there for the board. Davidson thought that he touched it, but he didn't. Ball back to the Flyers. When I watch Dayton's offense, Anthony Grant spent several years in OKC with Billy Donovan. You can really see a lot of NBA principles. Very much a positionless offense. Brea will rise. Contested three goes.
Looks like an off the ball foul. They'll get Blakeney with that call. Well, just a, a beautiful piece of footwork. Kobe Brea, elite shooter. Defend. Who do you think is better of the two Kobe's? Is it Elvis or Brea? I mean, Brea is a sniper. Yeah. Brea yeah. is just a sniper. He had seven field goals against LaSalle. I remember watching that game last Saturday. That was a career high for him, so he's been hot here recently. And they're both over 40. Either one of them. Meninga working that post. Tough matchup with Holmes. Oh, careless with the basketball by Elvis, and it's going to wound up getting a foul called on Meninga. Yeah, I, I would think that if you like ball security, and, and I think that you should as the home team, those are the kind of plays that are going to make Anthony Grant say, you know, go ahead, go ahead and get back in the game. Now Menenga on Kamara. Two talented men in the post. This time Kamara gets the best of them. Yeah. What a defensive sequence by Kamara. And with Kamara and Holmes and Amziel, they averaged 6 9. Holmes going to draw a foul. This environment's a test of maturity. You would never know Holmes is a freshman. Huh. Oh, shooter's roll for Holmes on the first. The highest rated recruit in school history, Deron Holmes. And essentially recruited him without ever setting a foot on campus. <laughs> it was all via Zoom and phone calls given the state of the world at the time. Do you think the name Obi Toppin was mentioned during that recruiting at all? I think so. I don't even think they needed to mention it because he was such a diehard fan. Reykjavich 
Post move, a little long with the shot. Yeah, once again, look how big the Dayton lineup is. Dayton's on a 7-0 run, looking to keep it alive. Kamara, nice puff fake. Now into the lane. Kamara with the right hand. Beautiful jump set through the lane. Going to try to settle it down with their star. Brankovic, patient post move. Nice left hand finish. And careless to Malachi Smith, but he's able to handle it. Lawyer was just waiting on that pass. Three point Dayton lead as we head down to the eight minute mark. Now here's Holmes using his body. And Holmes going to get a foul call. Another now. Another foul on Brekovic, his fourth. What do you do here? Leave him in? I think you leave him in. He's a senior. Looks like they're going to do the opposite. Bringing in a sub in Menenga. It looked like a pretty good strip. So Brekovic will sit. Menenga will come in. He may sit, but it may not be for long. Mm -hmm. Holmes rattles that free throw out. Yeah. I'd like to see Davidson try to get some action where you can get Lee coming off a screen. <laughs> Look at the defense by Amseel. It's perfect. Lawyer, contested three, he doesn't care. Malachi Smith right in his face. Lawyer will pull up from anywhere. Brea, he has been shooting the ball so well, short with this three. Doesn't this feel like the kind of game that if Dayton wins, we're going to see a lot of fans on the court <laughs> celebrating <laughs> with their players? I could not agree with you more. That's one of the best student sections I've seen in a long time. Menenga for three. That'll quiet this crowd. Menenga. Playing some big minutes as the star sits in Luka Brekovic. Wow, what a response by the Wildcats. The star goes out. They nail two threes. Kamara with the answer. Now Lawyer using his body, and he rattles it out. Malachi Smith can run with it. Malachi Smith with Lawyer chasing him from behind out to Brea. Brea into the lane, good pump fake, and Brea uses the backboard with that second shot, and the second one will go. No shot blocking. Great idea. Get to the lane. We got a two point vote. So much on the line for Dayton here as well, Tim. Yeah, I love Foster Lawyer as the point guard when you need a bucket on the road in a hostile environment. Got Jones limping away. They're going to get Malachi Smith. With his with Kobe Brea. So connections even before arriving here with the Flyers. And how long does Bob McKillop leave Luka Brankovic with four fouls on the bench? They will not win if he fouls out too early. Bochi Yedem. Now Lawyer. Lawyer can create that space naturally to get his shot off. It's saved, and it's going to give Dayton numbers if they want to use it. Once Coach again, Yedem flying back. No shot blocking. Get the ball to the rim. Especially if you can get a middle pick and roll and roll Holmes right to the middle of the lane. Here's Elvis at the top. Work it down inside to Holmes. Late flash to the post from Holmes. And Holmes, physical turnaround to draw the foul. A couple free throws coming. And trust me, 
a year in the weight room is going to completely change Jerron Holmes. He will border on being unstoppable one year from now. As good as he's been, what areas do you still see where he can even take that next level, talking Holmes? Well, I think he can be a three-point shooter. And, you know, when I watch Daniel Gafford in the NBA, Clint Capella, he is the prototype of what the league is looking for. A guy that can cover five positions. He can play pick and roll and get to the rim. He's going to be a pick and lob sensation. But, you know, it's all going to come with time and weight. Greatest recruit that they have had here at UD. Plays just like that. 16 points. Make that 17 points. Five rebounds as well. Yeah, I will say this. I, I saw him in person one month ago. And you can see how tired and fatigued he is. It's a long season for a college freshman. Especially when you're asked to carry your team. It's a four-point flyer lead. Elvis is going to pick up Lawyer full court, make him work. Oh, a little back tip. Back tip that was not clean. They're going to get Elvis with a foul. Yeah, that was not a good decision. And, Jack, let me reset what's important right now. With a victory, Davidson locks up the number one seed in the A-10 tournament. They're already locked into being a champion. If Dayton wins, and later today VCU is able to go and, and lose at St. Louis, then Dayton would move up to the number two seed in the A-10 tournament. Lawyer sends the free throw long. The lead stays at four. You do not see that often from Lawyer, that 94% free throw shooting percentage. I would guess next dead ball, Malachi Smith comes back in the game to run point. Now Elvis being aggressive. Elvis, patient move at the end. Good move for two. Dayton's on a 9-0 run, their largest lead of the game. Brejkovic poked away by Holmes, and Holmes wants to run. Up to Brea. Brea met at the rim by Lee, and Lee's going to get a foul. Circle this play. The defensive effort of the day. Beautiful delivery. 9-0 run. And I, I tell you what, if he makes two and they get a stop, you could just blow the ceiling right off this place. The crowd is electric. Brea rattles out the first, and you've been talking about the speed of Holmes, with which he goes up and down the court. As soon as he got that steal, he didn't hesitate for a second, and it's why they're in this position. Yeah, he's truly one of the fastest big men in all of college basketball. Brea with the second, misses two, but a rebound by Kamara. And they'll reset. Elvis going to bring it out and get a reset here. 12 on the shot clock. Oh, we got a foul called. Looks like they got him on the pick. Distant call with what else we've seen. So a couple missed free throws. The foul on Kamara, and Dayton leaves the possession with nothing. Yeah, I think that Foster Lawyer is looking for a shot. He'll be very aggressive. Brejkovic hands it off to Lawyer, and Lawyer for three. That's kind of what he does, Jack. This all changed in a minute. Dayton had a chance to really extend that lead before you know it. It's a three-point game. Dayton has to be careful with their screens. Don't give the referees any opportunity to call it. Brea wisely drops it into Holmes. Holmes over to Elvis, and Elvis is wide open. I wouldn't be surprised if 
they bring some action where he can come off a screen, either Lee or Lawyer for three. Lawyer to Lee. Quick pass right back to Lee. Now Menenga working the baseline. He's going to draw a foul. Kamara, if they're going to get Kamara, that will be his fifth foul. He will be out of this game, and they are. Absolutely the right call, and I wouldn't be surprised if they get Malachi Smith back in the game. And if you've got to sit Kamara, Anseal is a very good option. He's like a sixth starter on this squad. Anthony Grant is telling Smith, play hard, but play smart. We need you on the court to finish this. This crowd on their feet as Kamara goes over to take a seat. His day is done. One and one here. Meninga at the free throw line. First is good. And now Malachi Smith checks back into the game. Man, I have to tell you, I am a huge fan of Menenga. He's from New Zealand. He's strong. He's athletic. He can rebound a star in the low post. And when, when you think about it, he's a long way from home. Menenga's second is off the left side of the iron, but the possession will stay right here, tipped away by the Flyers. So Holmes is calling for a review. He doesn't like the call. One more look. Now keep an eye on the defense that Brea is bringing with Lee. Lee created space. Lee for three. He is so smooth with the way he can create that space at the last second, get that shot off in a hurry. And here's the zone. First time we've seen it today. They're going to make sure they keep a close eye on Brea. And now they're back in man. Malachi Smith. Malachi into the lane. Really just one man down there with him. And lawyer Malachi Smith. Pure muscle on the inside. Now lawyer. Lawyer fell as if he was fouled, makes the shot anyway. What a... Two-point Dayton lead. And this game gets better the longer it goes. Here's Brea, picked off by Holmes. See Holmes calling for the ball down low. They're going to get another foul and, and on Brejkovic, his fifth. That's it for him. You know, I, I'm sorry, at this point in the game, I don't see it, Jack. I mean, if, if on the pass it kept Holmes from catching the ball, but to take... An all-league star, maybe the player of the year in the A-10. He's got a great reputation, and I'm not saying there wasn't contact, but, but these guys are big, and they're physical, and they're fighting for position. If there was going to be a call, it should have been on the catch, not that early. Give credit to Holmes. He's been making them work on the inside from the beginning of the game. So Brejkovic is going to finish with six points in just 17 minutes. Pretty darn good. Nine for 12 from the line. He's got 18, and he's got five boards. Working on one of the very best. You know, Coach Grant was saying, the vast majority of our roster has never played against Davidson, so we didn't know how they would respond to it. Now you're getting your answer. Here comes Lawyer. Lawyer floats one inside. Menenga rises to the rim. Holmes is rolling. He deserves the ball. 
see if they can get it inside, let him either drop step and play or be a playmaker and decoy. Now Malachi Smith. Malachi gets it over to Omsiel, and Omsiel's long. So now Lawyer, down two. Lawyer jumps up into Holmes, and he's going to get the foul. Holmes said I was straight up. There's no doubt. Shot fake. Leave your feet. It's the second time he's done that. Once in the first half. Once in the second. He's crafty. He is crafty. I mean, he's the son of a coach. Look at Foster Lawyer is one of the most decorated players in Michigan high school history. Four times first team all state. His dad was the head coach of the Detroit Pistons for a period of time. And Jack, he also attended my basketball camp when he was a young man. So that's the secret. <laughs> now 23 for Lawyer. Right in the eye of that student section too. Uh, he is the best free throw shooter in the entire nation. He's got Buddy the Elf on the right side, Patrick the Star on the left side, and he puts it right down the middle. Third free throw coming up for Lawyer, and he can take the lead with this one. It's the most automatic thing in the nation. You give him a free throw, he's going to make it. Who do you want taking this shot if you're the Flyers? I want Holmes inside. Barry Menenga in the low post. Give him the ball. And there he is, patient, setting up his space down in the post. Now Brea going to create his own shot. Brea has been on fire. Try a three. Lee circles it out. Omsiel with the board. Wise to Malachi Smith. Now Malachi Smith coming his way. Malachi Smith wants to give it to him. Get that pass. Looking for Elvis initially. Elvis ran long. Defense finally came off them. Go right back to Elvis and he'll draw the foul. Uh, Elvis, Two shots coming up for Elvis. It's his first free throws of the game. Elvis has not had a great shooting game. Four out of 12 from the field. One of six from three. You know, sometimes if you're making jumpers, your free throws just feel a little bit better. Make two, and it's a two-possession game. Elvis heads into double digits. Most importantly, extends this lead. Now at three. 14.2 remaining. You know, one thing that Dayton is really good at is protecting the rim. I wouldn't be surprised if Davidson tries to get a quick layup and cut that lead. Clutch. Clutch free throws by Kobe Elvis. Now here's Lawyer. Lawyer gets it just across half court. Take a timeout. They're going to think of getting their first look at Davidson and stepping up to the task. Blocked away by Holmes. Possession stays. Holmes. And here's one more look. Oh, I see it. Right as he was bringing his arms down. So Lee's going to take this out from the side. Watch Lawyer. Now Jones, right back to Lee. Lee with the double pump. Left it short. Jones running in aggressively is going to draw a foul, and this crowd knows what that means. It's hard to imagine 
that this Dayton team started the season one and four with losses to UMass Lowell and Austin P and Lipscomb. When you watch how far they've come and how talented, and I, I'm pretty certain next year they are going to be the preseason favorites in the A-10. So it's going to put Blakeney at the line on a week where he's coming off the game winner. And one incredible game winner it was. He rose to the rim. Now he's at the free throw line getting clutch. Another goes for Blakeney. Get it up to half court to Lee. They're just going to let him fire one away. Lee off the mark. 